RB Armadillo. Armadillo reads Ah, ah, ah. A reads Ah, ah, ah. Armadillo was at the park with his friends Iguana and Possum. While they were playing Dutch ball, Arby Armadillo's ball got lost. Everyone looked for the lost ball until it was time to go home. Mama Armadillo let Arby Armadillo have one swing before he went home. What do you know? From way, way up in the swing, Arby Armadillo could see his lost ball. Arby Armadillo's ball had fallen into the poppies. Just as Arby Armadillo reached into the flower bed to pick up his ball, he heard, mm, mm. Suddenly, Arby Armadillo was eyeball to eyeball with a very angry wasp. Arby Armadillo waddled away on his stubby arms and legs. Arby Armadillo waddled as fast as he could, but the angry wasp was flying faster. So Arby Armadillo used his built-in armor. Quick as a flash, Arby Armadillo rolled his arms, legs, and tails and head into a little ball. All that was left for the wasp to buzz was a lump of armadillo armor almost as hard as a rock. Mm -hmm, buzzed the angry wasp. I want to sting you. I hear armadillos like to eat wasp. At that, Arby Armadillo peeked outside his armor with one eye. Oh, no, Mr. Wasp. Not everything you hear is true, you know. You listen to something that was false, said Arby Armadillo. It is not true that Armadillo eat wasps. I ought to know since I am an Armadillo. So please don't be angry. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, Arby Armadillo, said the wasp, backing away. I should not believe everything I happen to hear, right? Right, agreed Arby Armadillo, popping his hairy head outside his armor again. Now we can be friends. Arby Armadillo unrolled his arms and legs and tail too. Phew! The wasp flew happily away. See you later, new friend, called the wasp. Now... To get his ball, Arby Armadillo tucked his ball safely under his arm at last. Mama Armadillo was still waiting patiently to walk Arby Armadillo home. Mama Armadillo, called Arby Armadillo, I just used the armor God made for me. I use my armor to keep a wasp away. Armadillos are safe anywhere, anytime. Well, God did give Armadillo some special built-in protection for safety, Arby Armadillo, agreed Mama Armadillo. But we must still be careful too. Yes, Mama Armadillo, promised Abby Arby Armadillo. I will be careful. May I play in the barnyard for a while now, please? I'll be careful. Mama Armadillo smiled and nodded. Arby Armadillo waddled off to the barnyard. Before long, Arby Armadillo was using his long claws. Arby Armadillo was digging holes in the soft dirt of the farmer's barnyard garden. Arby Armadillo dug a burrow tunnel here and a burrow there. Here a hole, there a hole. Arby Armadillo liked to have lots of holes nearby in case he even got afraid. 
RBR Mandilo could hide from any enemy by popping in and out and up and down from hole to hole. Now, RBR Mandilo waited and paused to rest. RBR Mandilo paused to look out across the farmer's garden. RBR Mandilo's eyes saw something he wanted. RBR Mandilo licked his hairy chin with his long, long tongue. I'm starving, exclaimed RBR Mandilo. I see some avocados and okra in the farmer's garden. But RBR Mandilo would not take things that did not belong to him. RBR Mandilo would never steal anything from somebody else's garden. Just as R.B. Armandillo stood there starving, that same friendly little wasp buzzed by again. Um, um, hi, R.B. Armandillo. Did you read the farmer's sign? Isn't it just marvelous? Pardon me, my new little friend, said R.B. Armandillo looking all around. I did not see the sign. I can't read yet. What does the farmer's sign say? Oh, okay. I'll read it to you, R.B. Armadillo, said the wasp. The wasp flew from one word to the next as he read the sign to R.B. Armadillo. Since it is autumn, I have harvested all my crops. You, little friends, may gobble up all the leftovers in my garden. Signed, The Friendly Farmer. Oh, that is marvelous, exclaimed Arby Armandillo excitedly. It is also marvelous that you can read signs. Next year, I will be able to read too. Thank you, little wasp. You are welcome, R.B. Armadillo, called the wasp as he buzzed away. So R.B. Armadillo chopped down some avocados and okra. R.B. Armadillo stuffed all his pockets until they were about to pop. Papa Armadillo and Mama Armadillo would be so glad to have fresh food right from the farmer's garden. R.B. Armadillo was just turning to waddle home when suddenly... Arf! 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 Oh no! Here came the farmer's two big watchdogs. Now, boys and girls, R.B. Armadillo was not afraid of dogs. Most of the time, R.B. Armadillo did not bother the dogs, and the dogs did not bother him. But today, the watchdogs were just doing their job. Today, the watchdogs thought they should be helping the farmer by watching to see that no animals gobbled up the food in his garden. Today, the big dogs seemed awfully grumpy and cross grouchy with R.B. Armadillo. The two big dogs bounced and pounced across the barnyard toward R.B. Armadillo. The two big dogs jumped and bounded into the garden. R.B. Armadillo knew he could never run fast enough to get away. R.B. Armadillo's pockets were too full of avocados and okra. So R.B. Armadillo took a flying leap into the air. R.B. Armadillo thought he was going to land in one of his handy holes nearby. But instead, R.B. Armadillo landed plop in a barnyard pond. Kaplash! Arf, 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 barked the watchdogs, afraid to get in the water. R.B. Armadillo just smiled to himself. Well, armadillos are safe anywhere, anytime. I'll just go for a swim as long as I'm in the pond anyway. R.B. Armadillo took in a large breath of air to help him float. Ah, Armadillos love to swim, you know.